In this video, we're going to see some of the limitations which Copilot still faces as it is on its way to achieve perfection in bringing about the results of our prompts. The very first thing that we need to understand is that Copilot would not always give the results that are correct. AI-generated answers can be faulty, they can be wrong, so it's always important that you do give it a double check before presenting your data or your response or result to anyone who is an expert. Or you should be very, very careful because Copilot is still learning from all the prompts that you give it. In this case, I'm going to show you a few prompts which the Copilot does not really know how to bring forth the results for. For example, I ask this copilot to change the color of the table in the sheet. Let's have a look if it is really going to do these formatting things or not for us. So once I say it, it says to wait for some time because it's almost there. It's actually analyzing and uh, seeing if what sort of changes can be brought forward. So you can see that this is something that can easily be done using Copilot. It has changed our layout. It has given us some options also, for example, bold the first text. And if I say it, let's say, make the table green. So let's see if it's going to do that. Now, you can never know, you can never be certain that which prompt will Copilot be able to bring forth and which not. In this case, it's following things well. If I simply ask it to add image of TV and phone on the right side in the sheet, let's see if it can browse and add some images for us. Now, why am I giving it different prompts? Because I need to really see what are the capabilities and how far is it limitized. Now you see, it asks me to say that I'm sorry, but I'm not able to add images to the sheet. Is there anything else I can help you with? So this means that there are certain limitations specifically by picking uh, ideas by picking images, PNG ones from the internet and putting it into your file. This is something that you will have to do manually yourself for now at least. And as Copilot develops itself, it will reach a certain position where it's going to do this effortlessly as well for you. So let's try giving it a few more prompts and see if it is able to work those out. In this case, I want something unique to happen. I want that Mr. Copilot should change this whole data and change the order dates to 2024. So I say to change the order date years to 2024. Let's see if it's going to do that. Never mind my change spellings. This always happens when I type. So I am pretty hopeful that it can do this change. Let's see if it's able to do that. It's finishing up, it's working on it, and that's wonderful. You can see that all these dates for the year has changed to 2024. So this will be great. It, it even tells you that I replaced all the occurrences of 18 and 19 with 24 in the order date column. So this means it actually validates its responses. So this is something that's nice. At the same point, there are some limitations that like adding the images is one of them, which it cannot work for. Now, if I particularly tell Mr. Copilot to add a video link to show TV is the best product as compared to other items like phones, in the cell A4. Let's see if it's going to add a video link. This is something totally unique, totally novel. Let's see if Copilot can browse YouTube and bring about a link. 
Now you see, this is something that it cannot do. So this means by and large, Copilot can do a lot within the boundaries of using functions within the boundaries of using formulas and data analysis. But when it comes to adding foreign material in form of pictures and videos, that is something which is a main limitation for Copilot. So the reason for creating this video was to show you that Copilot is still under way of development. Let's not consider it final, but we can still take a lot of help from it and learn. That was all for this lesson. Go ahead. Try out Copilot, incorporate it into Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, and explore things for yourself. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.